Hello, this is Nick from planetreport.net. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Mariana Trench, which, as I'm sure some of you will know, is the deepest part of the ocean. Um, I've got some facts and also some news about the trench from earlier this year. So I'm going to start with, uh, it's located in this Pacific Ocean, it's east of the Philippines, and as I said, it's the deepest sea in the world. The seabed is a maximum of uh, 10,994 metres, uh, which is 36,070 feet below the surface. Uh, it's equivalent in height to 24 Empire State Buildings of New York. Uh, that's if they were all put on top of each other from the bottom of the uh, trench right up to the surface of the ocean there would be t it, in fact it's just a little bit more but it would be 24 empire state buildings so if anyone i've went there a long time quite a long time ago now but in fact i've been the top of it empire state building <laughs> it's a long way down so 24 of them it's very 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 deep uh, in fact it's deeper than mount everest um if mount everest was a mountain on the seabed it still wouldn't the t the peak of the Mount Everest would not be above uh, sea level. Uh, the trench itself is two and a half thousand kilometers, which is one thousand five hundred eighty miles long, and on average of sixty nine uh, kilometers, forty three miles in width. Um, the area of the trench, which is the deepest ocean in the world, is eleven kilometers, seven miles long and 1.6 kilometers uh, one mile wide so the trench isn't uniformly deep it's deeper in some places than others uh, the, this bit that I've just mentioned the deepest part which is a seven miles long it's known as Challenger Deep and it's named after the British Royal Navy ship HMS Challenger now this was a, a Royal Navy ship in the Victorian era and it went on a global ocean research mission uh, and it went all around the world and thousands of miles and I think one of the things it did was it found I think I'll have to check I'll I think but don't quote us on this I think it um, found 4,000 new marine life species on its trip because it had scientists aboard and as well as the Navy officers and the sailors um, so anyway, it, on the 23rd of March, 1875, uh, they discovered the vast depth of the trench and they managed to record a depth of 4,475 fathoms, which is equivalent to 8,184 metres. So they didn't get the bottom of it, but obviously they worked out that it was exceptionally deep and it, was, it wasn't too far off the actual full measurement of the of the trench so the trench that part of Mariana Trench was called Challenger Deep named after the ship HMS Challenger and so nearly a century later in 1960 uh, the first manned vessel reached the bottom of Challenger Deep and aboard of this small sort of submarine like uh, craft was Jacques Picard, a Swiss oceanographer, and Don Walsh, a United States Navy lieutenant. And you can see the picture of the uh, vessel in the uh, image of this video. Uh, just at the surface uh, uh, in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, so following that, there was two unmanned missions to the bottom of the trench in the years and decades that followed. And then the film director, James Cameron, who made the movie Titanic, he went alone in 2012 and became the third person to travel to the bottom of Challenger Deep. And it took him two hours and 26 minutes to get there. And then I think when he came back up to the surface, it took 70 minutes. But that was a very long and lonely trip down to the bottom and it made him the first person to do the trip solo so there's only ever been three people that have ever made the trip to the bottom of the deepest part of the sea and um, I think it is uh, 
Jacques Picard, I think, is died some years ago. So now there's actually only two men alive that have been to the bottom of Challenger Deep. Um, and the island, it's the island of Guam, where the U.S. military have got a base, is close to the trench. And in 2009, the U.S. made it a U.S. national monument. Uh, the pressure at the bottom of the trench is a thousand times more than the atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure at sea level. So, is there anything down there? Well, they have found various different creatures, such as sea cucumbers, some jellyfish, and crustaceans, have been observed down in the trench. Now, as I said, as well as some facts, there was also some news about the Mariana Trench from earlier this year in February. And it was the findings of a joint study by Newcastle University, University of Aberdeen and the James Hutton Institute. And it was into the into pollution in the Mariana Trench um, and they've revealed, the, revealed the findings. Uh, Alan Jameson, who is a, is a senior lecturer in marine ecology at Newcastle University, said, We tested various different species of tiny scavenging crustaceans known as amphipods that we gathered between 7,000 and 10,500 metres in depth in the Mariana and the Kermadec trenches in the Western Pacific. We found that regardless of depth, regardless of species, regardless of trench, these animals were loaded with two types of persistent organic pollutants, POPs, that they were looking for. Um, and then he went on to say, I think some of these pollutants were banned in 2001, but he said they're non-biodegradable and once they're down there, there's like literally no way of getting rid of them. So, and he went on to say something along the lines of, it just shows that, you know, like the what we do as humans affects the whole planet, no matter how remote it is. It's, you know, we're polluting everywhere, basically, which is a bit depressing. But I hope you found that a little bit interesting. Um... Please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, visit the website which is www.planetreport.net and there is actually an oceans page which has all uh, oceanographers, scientists etc that are studying the oceans. That's because what planetreport.net is a website where it's um, it's got like news feeds from Twitter but they've all been aggregated for certain things so it might be rainforests oceans uh, big cats primates elephants so you just need to go to that page and then you'll get any uh, each each category has got so many that uh, twitter pages that are relevant to that topic so it's a very easy and quick way to to find what's happening regarding a certain thing so there is actually an oceans page which you might find interesting and then there's a Twitter page as well for the website, which is twitter.com forward slash planetreportnet. So thanks for listening.